Spoon Sports FL5 crane neck spoiler. Let's do it. So I've had it actually for quite a, quite some time now, a couple of weeks now. Uh, just finally just getting time to install it. These are actually hard to come by. I know a lot of guys are still waiting for theirs to come in. I got lucky. Envision was able to get, I believe, two of them. So let's, uh, let's just go and crack this open. Fresh from Japan. First time I ever seen it was in Japan and I absolutely just fell in love with it, you guys. It was uh, oh, just amazing. Just an amazing uh, spoiler. Um, the other one that Johnny really liked was the Mugen one, the Mugen FL5. That, uh, that spoiler is top notch, but I like the spoon. So as you can see in my uh, SEMA video last year, when we were talking with Jimoto-san, uh, the spoon was the way to go for me. Hopefully you guys can see it. Let me just, let me check the camera. Let me get a little closer for you guys, okay? Woo! Huge packing, like huge packing box here. Let me just open it up a little bit. Okay, first things first, let's... Okay, we'll just grab the spoiler here. Stainless steel. Okay, so this is what I'm glad that they gave us. This is like foam uh, to kind of weather seal the um, where it connects to the hatch. I'll, sh I'll, I'll explain it a little better, but kind of glad that they got those instructions in Japanese. Very light. Absolutely very light, you guys. Kind of like a sweet smell. Ooh. Just loving it, you guys. Ooh. Big bubble wrap, and then we got a little bubble wrap, and then we got foam, more foam. Okay, okay, first impression. All right, my apologies, you guys. I just realized I lost my audio, like, a while back and just we're gonna go backwards right now i'm just gonna go over everything with audio so let's start with the base plates go cool. so here is the base plates hopefully you guys can see it in person here they are carbon fiber but they're overlays because on the other side if you notice it's just black and those are small weaves okay and then let's go with the the stands these are aluminum and powder coated black. Mm -hmm. The quality is just a little bit on, could be, it just got a little bit of a mark here and they just touched it up. Now I know it's mine because it's a beauty mark there. Okay, so the most important piece here is the main spoiler. Uh, this is a wet carbon, noticeably famous for uh, Japan's one of one weave. Very small compared to North America. It has uh, oof, a nice sweet smell to it. And uh, it stands there. It's all in Japanese here. I don't even know what it says there. But you know, maybe you guys can translate. Uh, yeah, but compared to the FK8, last time I installed one, it's an day and night. The quality is so much better. Uh, you can see a little bit of imperfection. Maybe that's just because of uh, shipping and uh, a little bit in the weave here. But overall, this is like very nice compared to the FK8. Uh, just to let you guys know, you know I'm just doing a comparison wise between the two. But very, very light. Yeah, let's go to the next one. And of course, you guys, the end plates here. And again, all carbon. has a distinct smell to it. Japan, so light. So it wasn't in the instruction, so I'm thinking it's an afterthought. There's little foams that you put in between the base plate and the actual hatch itself to seal it from the weather. Uh, I know some other aftermarket companies don't include it, but it's nice that the spoon went ahead and included it this time around. I know on the FK8, I don't remember myself in it, installing it, but uh, we ended up putting our own pieces of foam just to keep it out from uh, water getting into it. So. That's something you want to keep in mind if you guys are doing another brand that doesn't include these. So good on Spoon for doing it. Okay, so you guys, sorry for the audio loss while I was recording. You first start out by removing this cover here. Uh, it goes on like this. Let me just pop it open. It goes up so much faster now because the spoiler's not there. So 
When you remove it, I use a tool from Acuity, very good tool. Uh, I started prying from here, but you have to remove this cover. You have to remove this, and then uh, this is what holds on the uh, tunnel cover, the shade, whatever that thing is called. And you gotta remove this cover first, and then remove the Phillips on both sides. And then there's two Phillips screws in here, uh, one on each side, one right here and one right here. You remove that, and then you start prying around this and around that side, and then you release these two clips here around the windshield washer, uh, wiper, uh, windshield wiper, and it comes out, down, out, and then you're good to go. I explained it a lot better on the on the first go ahead, but there's no audio, so. Okay, next up, remove the 10 mils, three on each side. Make sure you uh, get a magnet with you because you don't want that screw dropping down. Uh, it's gonna be a nightmare to get it out of there after. But get a magnet. Okay, so what I did was I put the foam around. Once I put the foam around, and then I put the base plate back on. And they use the OEM hardware. Uh, 10 mils and that's where we're at right now. I did put the foam in and it's all good to go now So I went ahead and Put the three 10 mils on each side back in and now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, hand tighten it down you guys And that's where we're at now. All right, so up next we're gonna go ahead and install the stands So with the supplied hardware you're gonna get your m6 by 25 millimeter You're gonna need a number four allen key. Okay, so for the stand I don't think there's an in or out or I mean left or right so it just you gotta have it the right facing the right direction. All right, guys. So this is probably where you want to have a friend, but uh, I don't have a friend right now. So what I'm gonna do is um, probably put it on a couple of towels, right about here. Okay. Just in case, I don't know, just in case it uh, falls on your car, but yeah. Just put it, uh, I don't know. Let me see if I can figure this out, okay. Oh, it's telling me if we can get the nut on just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh fuck. Okay. Anyway, let's see if I can get the other side on. For now, oh, I should have grabbed. I should have grabbed two nuts. Okay, anyway, let's, let's try again. Okay, so you need two nuts if you're by yourself. Woo! Depends on the, the angle you want. I just don't know right now what angle we want. So I'm just gonna, maybe, maybe right here. Not too aggressive. I have to talk, I have to ask Peter or Gerald. What's a good slip angle? Okay, so we take the number three. That's what it is. So there you go, just like that. If you're by yourself, I would lock them one side first with a nut and washer, a uh, nut and bolt, and then and then repeat to the other side because it's kind of like it's wider. The stands are wider than the the spoiler. All right, so last but not least, you want to take your uh, number three again with the supplied hardware and. Put on the end plates. Okay, so some of you guys are probably wondering how much the OEM wing weighs compared to the Spoon Sports. Spoon Sports is four and a half kilos, and the factory one is four and a half kilos. Same thing. So it's pretty much identical. Pretty light. Uh, the same.